when you're doing sit-ups, when you are exercising your abs, when you are exercising your obliques, if you rest in a repetition, you've just wasted your time. Or I guess I could say that might be a little too harsh, but it's close enough to reality. You've just seriously undermined the effort that you're making by doing your exercise when it comes to your abs and your obliques. I have uh, an eight pack, not because I spend hours and hours doing thousands of sit-ups. No, the way I'm able to have an eight pack and display all of the muscle is because I know that I cannot allow those muscles to rest even for a millisecond while I am working them out. They must be under a continuous load while you're working out. So when you're doing sit-ups, let it be the old fashioned kind you probably learned in elementary school where your knees are bent and feet are flat on the floor. Let it be something that's a little bit more uh, sophisticated. Your knees maybe, or your feet up on a bench or a couch. All of these things, by the way, we're talking about with the abs so far can be done at home, can be done. And that's really the place where you should begin if you are not already a gym goer. Begin in the home, begin in the privacy uh, of that space and start doing these things. Because one thing that holds a lot of people back is the fear that people are looking at you when you're in public, when you're at the gym, and thinking, my God, that idiot doesn't know what he or she is doing. So just begin at home if you are not already at a gym and do your sit-ups. You could do your, your crunches, another different form of sit-up. The difference here is that you want to never relax. When you sit up, you don't want to come all the way up. Does that make sense? If you come all the way up, those muscles in the abdomen release. Now you're wasting your time. If you go all the way down, those muscles release. Now you're wasting your time. You want to be in a place where the muscles are always working. So not all the way down, not all the way up. You want to be in this short range of motion when you're doing those sit-ups. It's going to burn because the lactic acid is building up. Your body is using the oxygen in the muscle. As the muscle tightens, more oxygen can't come in. And so you'll feel this burning sensation as a consequence. Don't fear the burning sensation. It will go away as soon as you relax. The blood will flush through there and the, uh, the, the sensation of fire or burning will be gone. The next day, if you feel some soreness, that's because of the acid that was built up by the exercise. Rest assured that the more you work out, the better your body will get at flushing that acid. I never feel sore because my, and I, I kind of regret it, the sore sensation after a good workout is something that I remember liking and most people talk about because they know they've done something. But my body is so good at flushing the acid that I don't feel any soreness the next day or it's, it's too minor to really notice. So when you're doing those sit-ups or crunches, however you're seated when doing them, you don't go all the way down, you don't go all the way up. 